Hello, today is April 8th, uh, right now it's nearly 5 o'clock, or to be more exact, 4.51, and I want to keep making these videos, but I've ran through a situation where I, ma I managed to crash the drone, which is a huge problem because how are you supposed to make videos without the drone? So, to start off with, the propellers. I broke two of the propellers, not the motor itself, but just the propellers and more parts of it. Um, with the propellers, at the tips, it does have it darker on both on both of them. And with these two, with these three right here, two, they're all fully broken. Like there is no way of putting them back, nor are we gonna try. So the second thing that came to mind for me was how do I get a cheaper version of this? And, and this is as well as a Phantom 4, so they're already over a thousand dollars. And how do we fix it? Or how do we get something else to fix it? And my idea was not to like get a new one, but to buy one. So the first thing that came to mind was look through Amazon and on Amazon we found some parts to it, which are in this box, but let me show you what happened to the drone so you guys could see better. I just need to turn it on first. So let's start with the camera. What happened to the camera? The camera itself isn't broken, but the arm is. For instance, when you shake it, it does that. It moves by itself for some reason. Like that wasn't even me. Like you can see how my right arm is keeping it straight. And with that in mind, we also broke these propellers. Is these two back, back propellers. Right here is where you could see half of the crack. And down here is also where you could see the crack. So you could see that it pretty much broke this thing. But with this crack, it managed to also angle this thing. So that's why we need a new shell. So that's what makes the box so big. And as well as on this side too. It's really hard to see, but there's a little uh, bump in it, which came from the crack. So in other words, that meant that the, the drone fell this way. But it still flies, for some reason, it still flies wet well, but we just need a new shell because I need a, because my dad doesn't even know about this yet. So that's why I need a new shell. Now back to the items we have. The items are we have bubble wrap best part about it the most fun um the yaw arm which is in this bag which is not even open so this pretty much proves that we just got it the propellers well no these are the protectors protectors and the new shell itself which is dji stuff right here and another one which is the bottom side of this. And more bubble wrap. Alright. Again, my dad doesn't know about this, so let's do it quickly. So he never notices that it breaks. Um, we pretty much got this from a video called DJI Phantom 4 Gimbal Repair. Uh, the yaw arm replacement. So pretty much inside the video, it takes apart uh, the shell. And it also fixes the arm. So we got all our information from this video. The links will be down below. So the bottom part of this propeller, or propeller drone, gosh, no words, is, looks like, uh, looks like this. So pretty much looks like a Lego set. Um, the top part is, is, looks like this, clean, shiny, not like the one we have right now. Uh, your arm is this right here, and it's had a little Ziploc bag with staples in it, but,
looks like this. And the propellers are in this bag and they look like this. Why is the camera not facing this way? Um, you might want to look that way. What happened? Um. 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 I don't. I don't. Uh oh. Um. So, in other words, I have to explain to this to my dad uh, because. As you can see, he just took the drone, and this is not going to end well, so I'll show you the video right now of where I crashed my drone and how I did it while I talked to my dad. What? You recorded? So three days later, I talked to my dad. Uh, as you can see right here, he looks pretty mad. Uh, we're both going to work on the drone and fix it, but we're going to try to fix it shorter than the video had it to make it a faster way for you guys to fix it. And yeah. <laughs> okay, first. <coughs> I need to remove the battery. Safety first. Okay. Uh, first step. Uh, I need to remove the screws. That's the last bolt. Right now, it is 7.39, so fixing this drone. When I say drone, I precisely mean the camera. And the gimbal y'all took around three hours. But, this is the first test. We haven't even touched, put the battery inside it. So, let's try it. The drone's on. The camera. The camera is looks the camera is not moving by itself yet and now if you guys could see my if you could see the gimbal yawn by itself work 
It is doing it way better. So up, down, up, down, right. It's doing it way better. Right now uh, we are testing its first flight after our fix to see if it works. And I have the app and remote already. And so, and I've also turned on the Phantom 4. So, yeah, let's try it out. So, lesson learned I actually did have consequences, so I didn't get out of it. But what I did learn is that being honest does get you into a better situation. And that we fixed the drone, so now as you see, we have a good video with this channel. That we're gonna keep continuing making videos, so keep staying honest to everyone out there. And please like and subscribe. And thank you for watching this video. Without you, we wouldn't be a channel. Thank you. Yeah.